Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're ready for summer 2019 because Lucia Pica definitely is and she created a very beautiful makeup collection for this summer. And today I'm going to show you the collection Cruise 2019. I'm going to show you my picks from the collection and at the end of this video I'm also going to play around with some of the products from this collection and I'm going to show you how they apply on my face. And don't forget to take a moment at the end of this video to subscribe, like and leave me a comment. So let's get started! Let's have a quick look at some of the pieces from this makeup collection. The inspiration behind Cruise 2019 summer makeup collection is East Asia. After the successful spring summer makeup collection, this year Lucia Pica decided to continue the story. Fascinated by the beauty and mystery of Tokyo and Seoul, Lucia Pica creates a makeup collection of light and contrast. The stars of this year's summer makeup collection are the two duo compacts containing a highlighter and a bronzer. One is light and the other one is medium. I've already shown you the medium and this is the one that you see right now and more than 70% of you voted on Instagram that they wanted to see the light one so today you're going to see both and I'm going to compare them. The collection features also a limited edition Le Quatre Ombre Quad Lumière Naturelle which also you're going to see in this video and in a minute I'm going to show you swatches from all the palettes that I have along with the eyeshadow call that I have from this collection. There are two limited edition Rouge Coco Flash lipsticks and one is a rosy beige peachy color and the other one is like a matte darker color and you can see swatches on the photo. And there are two limited edition eye glosses but this is definitely not my cup of tea so I decided to skip these. They are very glossy and very shiny. And there are also three limited edition coal eyeliners. So let's have a look at the eyeshadow palette first and this is called Lumière Naturelle. It doesn't have a number and here are the swatches. And as you can see, the colors are very natural, very beautiful brown colors and this eyeshadow palette is going to suit so many people. You have two completely matte shades, one shimmery but it's not like a big chunky glitter or something, it's very beautiful. It's more like a metallic effect and the other one is with a more satin finish. The quality of the eyeshadows is very good, it's the same quality as the Le Beige palette. And now I'm going to show you how this looks in natural daylight. So this is without the lighting. And these eyeshadows are very long lasting, I've been wearing them all day long and the colors are very pigmented, they blend beautifully and I have to say that I really like and I'm really happy with the quality of this eyeshadow palette. So now I'm going to show you the two duo palettes which contain highlighter and a bronzer. And I've already shown you the medium, the dark one, um, but more than 70% of you on Instagram said that they wanted to see the light version. So this is the light, this is Claire, and I'm going to swatch it now for you. Same as the medium, this is the highlighter and this is the bronzer, but here the bronzer actually um, is more like a finishing powder. So on my skin tone it doesn't show up, I can only use it as a finishing powder more than a bronzer. And as you can see this is the bronzer. Let me swatch it a little bit more. Okay and as you can see this one is the bronzer and this one is the highlighter. So as you can see the bronzer is very very pale. So now this is going to blend completely into my skin. Let me get the swatch. 
Can you see that? You can see a little bit of color here, but I definitely can't use this as a bronzer because... And this is the highlighter. And the highlighter is very beautiful. I really like it and it's a lot more suitable for my skin tone than the highlighter in the medium palette, which is that deep gold color. So you can definitely see a little bit of color here, but keep in mind that my hand is now moisturized just to help the colors to appear more vibrant. And I did the swatch with a fingertip and I had a lot of product on my finger. Um, but if you start applying this with a brush on your face, you're going to see how it applies on my face today. Um, you're not going to see much of a color if you start applying this with a brush. So you can't really use it as a cheek color unless you are very, very pale. You, you're not going to get much of a color. It's more like a finishing powder. I like to swirl the brush and use both colors together because the bronzer doesn't show up on my face. And this is the Dark Duo palette. This is the highlighter and the bronzer and we are going to see. And these two swatches are from the medium palette. So as you can see, they are quite intense. I've already shown you this in my previous video, but I just wanted you to be able to compare the two of them on my hand. So as you can see, the light is very, very subtle. And this color is going to be like a finishing powder for most people. You're not going to be able to see it as a bronzer really, but I'm guessing that this is going to look good on Asian girls because they have that really porcelain skin that I think this color is going to show up on a very, very pale skin. On my skin, it's more like finishing powder and I like using it. Um, just I like to swirl the brush and swipe it on my cheeks. And the medium palette, on the other hand, it's quite intense. And I really like the bronzer in the medium palette. And now this is natural daylight. And the cool eyeshadow that I have is number 224. And I think I prefer the other one, but because it was brown I decided to skip it because I wanted this to be more interesting because I have so many brown colors and I have so many brown eyeshadow palettes but if you don't have a lot of browns I highly recommend the brown coal eyeshadow because it looks amazing and as you can see it has metallic shine to it and it blends very easy you can easily apply this on your eyelid and you can easily blend it with a brush so let's have a look at the swatches once again and now finally I'm gonna show you how those two palettes look when I swirl them so let's get a good swatch here So this is the light and let's go ahead and try the medium now. Let me swirl the two colors together. And this one is natural daylight. So today on my face I'm going to show you the light bronzer and highlighter because in my previous video I've already shown you the dark one and I used it on my face and on my eyes and today I'm going to show you how this one performs. Now I've already tried this one um, and I used it on my face. It's a lot less pigmented and you don't have to be that light-handed. So I don't have powder on my face because I first tried this one um, and I used a lot of powder on my face just as I did with the dark one, but this can hardly show up. And as you can see, actually the highlighter and the bronzer are almost the same color. This is not like the typical bronzer that you're going to use, um, but it's 
Actually, a lot of people could use it as a finishing powder instead of a bronzer and it really doesn't show up a lot on my face. So I have to use it as a cheek color and that's how I prefer to use it. I'm guessing this duo is going to be very suitable for Asian girls because Asian girls usually have that very pale porcelain skin and I think that this is going to show up beautifully on Asian skin. It shows up on my skin as well, but I have to use it as a cheek color. So first I'm going to take a little bit from the highlighter and I love the highlighter. It is a lot more suitable for my skin tone than the dark palette. So I'm getting a little bit and I'm using the brush that comes inside because um, we are testing the product now and I really like this brush. So as you can see, it immediately gives me that glow, which looks very natural for my skin tone. And I don't have to worry that this is going to look unnatural. It actually looks very, very natural for my skin tone. So as you can see, it doesn't show up as intense as the dark one. And now I'm going to be using the bronzer, which I think is more like a finishing powder. Um, so I can't really bronze my face with this one, um, but that's why I'm going to be using it on my cheeks just to warm up my skin tone a little bit. And actually the best way to use this one, the light palette, is if you swirl the brush and use the two colors together and use them on your cheeks. With this palette, I don't have to be careful and I really have to dip the brush and swirl the brush inside to get some color, especially with the bronzer. The highlighter shows up pretty nice, but with the bronzer, I have to really, um, I have to really dip the brush in the palette to get the color. So you really have to swirl the brush in the color to get some color. So you don't have to be worried that you are going to make a mistake because you can hardly make any mistakes here because the color is very pale and as I said it's more like a finishing powder than um, a real bronzer. I'm building up the color just to show you how intense this can be. And it's not a lot, it, it's never going to be too intense and the color is never going to look unnatural. So you can build up as much as you want, but just keep in mind that if you're using this one, be careful, don't use a lot of powder beforehand because with this you're adding more powder to your face and then you will end up with um, a face that's going to be with a lot of powder. So after building up the color quite a lot, this is the final result. As you can see, it's very, very natural. And um, actually the only thing that you can do with this one, you can use it as a highlighter and you can um, add some color to your cheeks, but you're not going to be able to really bronze your face unless you are very, very pale. I used the bronzer and the highlighter separately. And what I'm gonna do now, I'm going to swirl the brush and apply this onto my cheeks just like that to add some additional glow to my face and I'm going to apply this high and I have to say that I really love the highlighter in this palette it's a lot more suitable for my skin tone um, it's just that the bronzer is not really a bronzer for my skin tone you don't have to worry that you're going to make any mistakes here because you can hardly get too much and for my eyes, today I'm going to use this new eyeshadow palette and this is a limited edition. This is um, Le Quatre Lumière Naturelle. So I really love this eyeshadow palette. It's very high quality and I'm going to start now using this dark shade here. I like all the colors here and it's gorgeous because you have two matte shades and two shimmery shades. So I'm going to go ahead and take this color here. 
And of course, I'm using my beloved Urban Decay brush. This is from the Urban Decay Naked palette. Um, and I don't know why they don't sell these brushes because I really like this brush. The quality is the same as the Le Beige palette. So I'm going to apply this color all over my mobile eyelid and then I'm going to blend. I'm not going to go right in the very inner corner of the eye because I want to apply the other shade there. Okay, and once I have the color onto my mobile eyelid, I'm gonna take the other side of the brush, which is clean, and I'm just gonna start blending the color. Next, I'm gonna take this shade, and this is one of the matte shades, and I'm going to apply this in my crease, just to add some more definition, but very lightly, because even the matte shades are very very pigmented so you have to be light-handed with these ones today i'm going to do a very simple look using this eyeshadow palette but i'm going to do more looks using this palette because i like it and now i'm going to take a brush with very short bristles because it gives me more control and i'm going to take this shade here and apply it in the very inner corner of my eye Okay, and now because I really want to show you how this one works and because I know this is this creates some light and it's metallic color, I'm going to apply also this on top of the other color and I'm going to apply it in the very inner corner of my eyes um, just to add some light there, right here in the very inner corners of my eyes and also a little bit underneath. Okay, probably this is not going to show up a lot on camera, but actually in real life it it brings out the green in my eyes even more. And then I'm going to get this small brush once again and blend a little bit. Now I'm going to apply the matte brown color, the darker one, on my lower lash line. Taking a clean brush and I'm going to be blending a little bit more because I feel like I need to do a little bit more blending. And that's it. I am going to apply now a little bit of black coal eyeliner on my top lash line, um, just a little bit to emphasize the eye look. So actually I didn't apply black coal because I remember that I had a really beautiful brown coal eyeliner and um, actually I know that it's available again. It used to be a limited edition and this is number 929 Agape and I really like using this one and I decided that if I use something brown as an eyeliner the look is going to be a lot softer. So that was all for today's video. For sure I'm going to have more videos dedicated to this makeup collection and I'm going to create different looks using products from this makeup collection. So please don't forget to subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Tell me which is your favorite product from this makeup collection and what are your favorite summer makeup products. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!